This video will look at databases and SQL, which is Structured Query Language, a language used to communicate with a database. Now, what is a database? Well, it's a table or it could be a collection of tables that store data. And any software that operates on data in a database is called a database management system. And all of these database management systems will need to be able to uh, carry out the following actions, create a database, add data to a database, delete data from the database, edit the data, and search the data for database for specific data. So in terms of understanding um, the database table, we need to understand some terminology, key terminology. So the table is a collection of data that relates to a person or an object, and it's often referred to as an entity. So you could have a table about a, uh, a set of students. So students would be the entity. A record is a collection of data about a single entity. So it could be a single student, for example. A field is a unique piece of data about an entity. So if you were describing a student, you might um, describe them as having a surname, and that would be um, a field. And a field name would be the identifier for that single piece of data in your table. So it'd be the column header. Now a query is a really common job that um, is carried out on a database. And basically what a query is, it's a search for specific data in our database. So we ask the database questions and it responds with answers. We query the database, we try and find all data that matches our query. So for example, we might ask the database for students who are 14 and the database will respond with a list of all the students that match that criteria. And when we write programs that have databases, it's SQL. That's the language that is used to create, update, delete, and query our program's database. So let's take a look at SQL. So as we just said, it's a language and it's made up of a selection of different statements to carry out different jobs on a database. And for your GCSE, there are a few basic statements that you need to be aware of. Create table, unsurprisingly creates a database table. Select, that selects data in our table. Update, allows us to edit the data that's inside our database. Delete, allows us to remove data. Insert into, allows us to add new data. So let's take a look at some examples of how SQL may be used and the results of different SQL statements. So first of all, in terms of creating a table inside our database, what we would do is we'd use the following syntax create table followed by the name of the table and then we would open up some brackets and inside our brackets we would have the name of each column along with the data type that the column's going to hold separated by commas and as you can see in this example um, code here um, that would result in the table that is displayed on this slide so you've got the student name, uh, sorry, the name of the table being students, then you've got the column, student ID, first name, surname, group, and age. Now, if we wanted to select data, let's imagine that we had, for example, this database table. We could select the entire table, or we could select specific data based on certain criteria. So if we wanted to select um, data, for example, just um, all of the first names, of the students in this database table. We would write down our SQL statement as select first name from students. So select the column first name from the table called students. And that will produce the following result. Just the first names of every student. What we could do is we could, if we wanted to, actually select more than one column. So let's imagine that we wanted first names and surnames of each student. We could use the statement select first name, comma, surname from students. And that would produce the table that you can see in the bottom right hand corner. 
Now sometimes it's really um, useful to be able to select the entire table and for that we use a wild card, so a little um, star if you like. So if we were to write uh, select star from students it would produce the entire table, so it would be selecting everything. Now the where clause is really really good uh, to in, used in conjunction with a select statement because if we want to select for example a field but then drill down even further and select specific data within um, that particular uh, field then we can use this where clause. So let's see an example of that. So if we were to use um, the SQL statement select everything or select the wildcard from students where group is 9AB that would produce the following result. It would produce all of the records within the table that have 9AB as the data in the group field. Now the update statement allows us to update all to data that's already been stored. The where statement sets the, the particular record to be updated. And if there is no value in the where statement, then all records will be updated. So for example, if we were to use the SQL update students set surname equals goody, where first name equals Tess, it will update the surname where the student has a first name Tess with the surname goody. And you can see that in the example on the bottom left hand corner of this slide. So this SQL is an example, in this example we'll update the table called students changing the surname to Goody but only in the rows where the first name matches the value Tess. The insert statement, if we want to insert new data into our database this is the one that we can use. So at the moment you can see in the top table we've got eight records and in the bottom one there is nine. So what SQL has allowed us to do this? Well, the following example has, it's insert into students, so insert into the table called students, the values 009, Jim, Smith, 9AB, 14. So each of those particular bits of data are added to a new record and each bit of data is separated by a comma. So the SQL in this example will insert a new row into the table called students with the values specified in the brackets. They will be entered in the order in which they are provided. And finally the delete statement will unsurprisingly um, allow us to delete a record or a set of records from a database. So here you can see an example table with nine records followed by a, the same table with eight. So what SQL has allowed us to delete that record? Well it's the following. Delete from the table called students where first name equals Jim. So that will delete the row in the table where the value in the field called first name matches Jim. And if you had more than one record with the name Jim in it, then you would be deleting more than one record. Now, if you wanted to specify which Jim that was, then in your where clause, you could have another set of criteria to specify which record it is that we want to delete.